All right, guys, welcome to my conversation with your South Carolina 285 pound state champion, Jackson Chavis. Jackson, how's that sound? I mean, phenomenal, really, that title. Finally getting to hear it, except co champion. I mean, this is brand new to me. And I'm, I'm really happy to hear it. Yeah. So, how, uh, how is the experience? different than last year you came up just short last year and we're gonna get into this a little bit but but before we get to it how did that feel like how what's what was the feeling the moment like you won um i have a picture of me right before even the whistle was blown i'm over here i'm yelling i mean right while he was grabbing my leg and i was just so excited in the moment yeah that's cool that's cool i i saw it a little bit online i could tell you were you're really excited did you did you go give a big bear hug to your coaches or did you do anything? Oh yeah. I jumped up to my coach or anything. Very cool. All right. <laughs> so before we get into talking about your run to a state title and all that jazz and everything else, let's start off the mat. Is that cool? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So Hartsville, South Carolina, not, not, not a whole lot of state champs. I don't think from Hartsville state, South Carolina, as far as when I've been covering South Carolina, I don't know of any. Do you know of any in the past, or are you the first? Uh, we have, in the past, we have a three-time state champion. His name's Logan Berger. Okay. He's a four-time state finalist uh, and three-time state champion. And then before that was Jordan Lynch. Okay. Okay. So there have been a few, but but not a ton. So how, oh, does, no. it, how does it feel to um, – put your name into that that group um extraordinary really um i've broken so many records this year and put my name out there i just i felt so happy this year and what i accomplished very cool all right i said we were gonna start off the mat and then i went back on the mat so let's go off the mat best breakfast food oh omelets omelets what what is what's our go what's our go-to omelet Okay, uh, let's see here. I had to go with a bacon ham and just like a, like a two cheese type of omelet. Two cheese. Is there a pre- preference on the two cheese or no? Uh, I had to go with American and Swiss. Okay, okay. Is this a two egg omelet or a three egg omelet? Oh, this is like a four egg. Four egg omelet. Okay, yeah. yeah. I mean, you're, you're a big guy, so I I got you. All right. <laughs> uh, what is uh your what's your favorite subject in school? Oh, I would say either history or math. I'm really good at remembering dates and and geography, but in mathematics, I I've just had it naturally come to me. Okay, uh, which, which one do you like more though? Oh, history. You like history more? Stress and everything, history. So what uh is there a particular time in history that you like more than any other? I like World War II to it's like the World War II period straight to Vietnam. Okay. Okay. All right. That's cool. I you know, I just finished watching a, a show on I think it was Apple TV called Masters of Air. And it was a it was a good show. It was about uh, uh about World War II and the one hundredth bomb group. So Put that on your list of something to watch if you're interested. Um, sure. How about your your uh, your least favorite subject? English. <laughs> English. I can barely speak it. I mean, <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah. What is it about English that you don't like? <laughs> I mean, they say you teach English, but I mean, it ain't, this goes more in depth into it. I just, I just teach me how to speak it, and I'll be fine. All right. Okay. No diagram sentences. That that's not that's not your thing. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Are you more of a uh, a beach or a mountain kind of person? I would say beach. Beach. All right. I don't like. I'm not. I don't like heights at all. So. Oh, you don't. So actually, no. my next question of roller coasters: yes or no? Boom. Okay. Big no. <laughs> Big Big no. no. All right. How about if given the opportunity, would you go to space? Ooh, no, no. With the amount of risk into it, I I couldn't do it. You couldn't do it. Okay. Do it. All right. All right. Where's is there a is 
what is it about heights? Like, is there like, it, it, were you up somewhere and you got kind of freaked out or is it just like in your head? I guess when I was little, I used to ride roller coasters at Carowinds actually. Uh, when I was little and first time I ever got on a roller coaster, I went up maybe 300 feet in there and I was terrified and I did not like it at all. And from that moment forward, you were, you were done. Oh, I was been done. No <laughs> way. No all way. Right. All right. Is uh sushi, sushi? Yes or no? Uh, sushi. Yes. Sushi. Yes. yes. All right. Okay. What about, um, what about, um, if, if I could tell you, you could have one of these two things, telekinesis or telepathy. Telekinesis is the ability to move something with your brain or your mind. Telepathy is to read somebody else's mind. Which one are you going with? Uh, as a big guy, not one to move around a lot, I would say tel- uh, t- telekinesis. Tel- telekinesis? What, what are you moving first? What are you bringing it to you? Or, or maybe moving away from you? Probably like a drink or something, like a bottle of water. Yeah, something easy, right? Oh, yeah. I got you. All right. Um, book or movie? Movie. Movie. All right. What's I, the- I've had some really good books, but, you know, movies, I can see it. I got you. Okay. You cut off. I, I got you. Do you have me? Are you? Are we still good? Yeah, we're still good. Okay. Um, so, uh, is there a movie recently that you've watched that you, you really liked? Uh, recently, um, oh, there's one, I can't remember what it's called. Uh, okay. I still believe. I still believe. It's about, okay. uh, story about Jeremy Camp. Jeremy Camp. I don't know the story at all. It was Christian- good though? Christian songwriter, yeah. Okay. Great member. Very okay. sad. And... Okay. What can you can you see it on like Netflix or someplace like that? Or do you uh, remember? It just got rid of it off Netflix, but I don't know where it is now. Okay. All right. All good. All right. So last question off the mat is do you have a talent off the mat that nobody really knows about? Talent off the mat. Mm. I'm, no, I was gonna say I'm very flexible, but I go. I guess that goes with the mat too. So it it kind of does, but you're very flexible for a heavyweight. That's a big deal. I mean, I can. I used to be able to do the splits. Um, until I got the two eighty five. Well, that two twenty, I could do splits from like you know. Yeah. I forward. I don't know. And then from the middle, I could do splits. Wow. Were you always just super flexible? Oh yeah, I was always flexible. I I took stretching very important to me. Very cool. All right. Yeah, because yeah, for somebody who's not very flexible, I'm envious of somebody who is flexible. I'm telling you. <laughs> um, all right. So let's let's jump on the mat and let's go back to to when you first started wrestling. Can you tell me your story of when you started, how you started, who got you into it? Uh so I started when I was four years old and I can't remember what I think I had my, he's my, he's my nurse, my head coach now. Also, he works at a kid's clinic. Uh, it's called Morphus pediatrics. <clears throat> he got me in that. And my parents asked me, they're like, do you want to wrestle? I said, yeah. Cause I thought I was like the WWE type stuff, you know, punch <laughs> bro. And I was like, yeah, I like that. And then fast forward to now, I was like, uh, I don't regret that decision at all. I mean, <laughs> did that. Did did when you realized it wasn't WWE, were you a little disappointed? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So uh, you um you, you've had some success on the mat over the last several years. Uh last year you came up just short um to Jonathan Sherrard, I think, uh yep. at 220. What um what was kind of the the feeling walking off the mat after taking second? So going into that match, I had a lot in that year that happened to me. And the result of the match, I didn't mind losing. I was proud of myself in that moment. Um, going out there, making it to the finals with what I had 
I mean, I was really proud of myself. Yeah, I was in the hallway like every other wrestler after a state final match, slammed my headgear on the ground and everything, you know. But I wasn't too disappointed in myself. I was, I was still had some proudness in my soul. I was that's, still in there. That's cool. That's cool. I mean, it, it's a tough loss, right? It's it's kind of that sort of thing, but but you felt like you you had overcome a lot of things to get to that point. Is that right? Oh, I did. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. Um, all right. So, um, I'm sorry. You can hear something going off in the background. Um, so, um, if you were to look back from that point to your younger self and you were to give yourself a piece of advice, what would the piece of advice be? Take the training seriously. Okay. Um, and pay attention more. When I was younger, I did not pay attention at all as much. Really? Uh, not at all. Um, when did that change? That started to change probably when I was 11. Uh, I noticed I was like, I was getting really good. And then I was like, okay, I got to take this more serious. And I did. And I'm really happy I did. What, do you, what do you attribute your run to a title this year to? Uh, my coaches and uh, my community also. And then my loved ones really helped me emotionally through this year. Cool. And mentally. Um, cause I took one loss to a kid I knew I should have beat mm -hmm. that really got in my head mm. and they really helped me out there. Uh, and I don't know how much gratitude I can show to them really. That's cool. That's awesome. Um, so, uh, so we're going into that last match. Were you feeling some pressure? No, actually, that was out of the three times I was at state finals, that was the least amount of stress I had in that moment. Why? Well, the entire time I had my coach with me, and I wasn't so worried about, you know, jumping around, warming up, taking it so serious. Um, that's always how I try to be before a match. I always try to be, you know, more relaxed, loose. Don't even think about it, really. Talk, some, talk about something else other than the match. And then but maybe seven minutes before the match, you know, really lock in, start a warm up and just go in there, game plan, take it on. I would think that would be really important for a heavyweight, especially coming at the end of the tournament <laughs> and everything else. Oh, golly. You got something to say about that? Uh, I mean, <laughs> it's, it's one match like less than last year and everything, but being a last of the last this year, oh my goodness. I thought I was be so stressed out and I wasn't though. And because I, I had my coach and I also had my girlfriend uh emotionally supporting me there also. Very so cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So what is next for Jackson Chavis? Uh three timer. I uh, well, you're already a cup. Oh, oh hang on. It's oh that's three timer. Yeah, I won my freshman year. I didn't know you <laughs> won your freshman year. Congratulations. I'm sorry. I should introduce you as two time state champ. Yeah. Um, so, so three timer in the future. Um, and then, so let's talk short term before we get to that. Like, before we, you know, are we, are we, are we focused on anything between now and next season? Uh, I do have football I, I'm focusing on. Okay. All right. I'm there. Uh, I'm also getting my name out for that too. Because I'm still I'm still pretty known in the state for football, also, and everyone asks me which one am I doing. And I don't know. I, I cannot tell anyone. Can you talk about just real quick before we get to my last question, the overlap or the complement? How they complement one another? Uh, I would say wrestling really complements football, especially with like the hand and footwork and the mobility really into it, and. 
when it goes into football to wrestling, I would say the explosiveness. I mean, if we can get more football play, oh, excuse me there, football players into wrestling, I mean, the sport would really change. Um, I mean, a lot more big time moves and everything, a lot more athletes. Very cool. I mean, yeah. for, for, our, for, our, for our school, we have band kids come out there wrestling. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, um, uh, last question. Why, yep. why wrestle? What makes wrestling special to you? I would say just doing it from a young age. Uh, it's brought along to me, uh, a lot to me, a lot of character built into it. Um, and show me a lot. Show me how to take a loss. It's show me how to be humble, even through the best moments. Um, and without wrestling, I don't think I would be nearly as who I am today. All right. That's a great way to end it. I, I appreciate that. Um, it's a really great perspective. I, I want to congratulate you, number one, on another state title. Sorry, I forgot about your freshman year. Apologies. Like um, I want to wish you the best of luck in the future, whether it's on the football field or on the mat. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I look forward to seeing you continue to progress and, and get better and better and better. So congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you.